Hey everyone, it's Amy here and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Love It or Leave It review and some swatches and some demo on the new Too Faced Sweet Peach collection. Now this review is not going to include the eyeshadow palette because I've already done that review months and months and months ago when it first originally launched. So this review is going to be on the new collection that released last week. Now let's talk about where it's available really quickly and then we'll jump right into the review because there's three different products to talk about. So right now it is available at Sephora's website. I'm looking at that online it looks totally available it's available at Ulta available at Macy's available at Too Faced website I will leave links down below to all that information where you can purchase them right now and then they should be releasing in stores around the first week in January is what the information says on Sephora's website and I'm sure it's around the same time for Ulta and Macy's as well so let's go ahead and start right off because like I said there's three different products to talk about you will be seeing demos as well as I talk about the products but we're gonna talk about the lip oil first this is the only one I'm not demo just because I'm wearing it. It's a lip oil, you know, we know how to put this on. So this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. And here's what it looks like. It is so cute on the top. You do have a little peach guy and it's just really cute. I love the packaging. It's really sleek and pretty and cute. I love that you can see the color underneath it. I do have the one Papa Don't Peach. <laughs> I think they're so cute, the names. So these retail for $19 and there are eight different shades. Now I only got one shade right off the bat because as you guys know, I'm not a lip gloss girl. There's just something about it like it's not as comfortable. I hate that it comes off, that it's sticky, that my hair gets in it because it's kind of always windy where I live, and so I just, I'm not a lip gloss girl. But I was like, these are too cute. I have to give them a try. Lip oil, lip glosses. It sounded so good, and I'm so glad I tried it. I'm in love, you guys. I love these. This is the most comfortable lip gloss ever. There is nothing sticky about them. They can glide on your lips. I do feel it right now, but they're not sticky at all, which I love the fact that they're not sticky, and they're very, very opaque. So let me show you guys. That is just one swipe. But let's go over it a couple times so that you guys can see. So here's what it looks like. Look how opaque that is for a lip gloss. I love it. And this is just kind of a nudie shade that I have, again, Papa Don't Peach. It's described as a spiced peach. So it says, a whipped peach lip oil with the shine of a gloss and the moisture of a lip balm. These are so moisturizing. You can wear them by themselves just on top of bare lips, on top of a lip balm, on top of a lipstick, whatever it may be. These are so comfortable. And for me to say they're comfortable and that I really enjoy them, I think you guys are going to absolutely love them because I'm just not a lip gloss girl, but this is like a game changer. They're so comfortable. They do have a sweet peach scent to them. They're kind of, they kind of smell artificial, like a sweet tart kind of, like that kind of a sweet peach scent, but it's not bad. I don't mind that, but if you don't really like a really sweet scent, you may not like these. It probably is not going to be the best scent for everyone because I find that when you wear this entire collection, I do smell it throughout the day. I can continue to smell it. It's not like it just goes away. So it also says the Sweet Peach Creamy Lip Oil has a moisture-rich formula that feels lightweight and creamy. It feels so lightweight. That's another thing I like. Lip glosses tend to feel really heavy and feel like you just can feel a ton of thickness on your lips. These feel really, really lightweight and like you don't feel anything on your lips until you start smacking them around. Uh, it features shades in nudes, peachy pinks, and coral. Silky and smooth, it's infused with skin-loving essence of peach, coconut oil, and vitamins, and each shade smells like peaches. So Overall, these have a really nice wear time as well. Obviously, they are a lip gloss, so you eat, you drink, you do something with your lips. It is going to come off, so you do have to reapply them. But overall, these are really hydrating, really lightweight, really comfortable. I feel like I'm getting the benefits of like a lip balm and the shine and cuteness of a lip gloss. So I'm super impressed by this. Definitely. So let's go ahead and move on to the palette next. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. I just love the packaging. It's so cute. It's a 10. This packaging and everything is exactly the same as the eyeshadow palette. When you open it up, here is what it looks like. You have the bronzer, the blush, and then the highlighter on this side. So this palette is going to retail you $42, and it says it's a peach-infused highlighting palette with three shades for a lit from within luminous glow. And just to let you guys know, out of all of the items in this collection, I find that this one smells the least peachy and artificial. Like, I don't find that the smell is quite as strong. The lip glosses have a really, really strong scent. This is a little bit more mild. So it says the illuminating blush and bronzing palette gives the natural radiance of a glowy peach sunset. Give your skin the appearance of being bathed in the most beautiful peachy golden light. And now each of these, let's see, you do get a little bit more of this blush. So these two right here are the same exact size and they are 0.1 ounces and then the blush in the middle is 0.19. So almost double the size of these. 
And as far as the formula goes, I'd say the Illuminator for sure reminds me so much of the Dior Glowing Gardens um, Illuminators and that style, as well as the new Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlighters. They all kind of have that um, really smooth, silky formula that's kind of like that gel formula where it feels like it's a little wet, but yet it's so smooth that you can't even feel it when you pick it up. I mean, it's just so lightweight, like you don't even feel it, but yet it glides on so 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 sm silky and smooth and just it's kind of got that baked gelée formula if you're familiar with those highlighters I mentioned as well as the uh, Laura Geller Bakes Swirl Illuminators. Those have kind of that same formula as well. So if you like those formulas, you're going to like this formula. Now as far as the bronzer goes, it has the same exact formula, that Smooth Silky Baked Gelée. But what this reminds me of is, again, the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion bronzers. How you kind of have to use a more dense brush, how they're really, really silky. They kind of have a cream to powder finish. Although they are not cream, they feel creamy, if that makes sense. They feel so silky and creamy and lightweight, but yet they're a powder. So that's how it feels. And same goes with the blush. I don't have any blushes in my collection that I can kind of compare it to, but it has the same formula as everything else in this palette. So they are really nice. So let's talk about the bronzer first. You will see me applying it on my face. Um, if you want it to be really, really saturated and really, really opaque, which I don't because this is a very warm color and I don't have a warm taste. I tend to like neutral or cool tones. So because of that, I'm never going to make it like extremely, extremely saturated and opaque on my face just because I don't like the tones. So if you're like me and you want a little bit more of a light bronzer and a little bit more of a diffused look like I have on today, I would go in with a fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques Multitask Cheek Brush. I really like this one. This picks it up nicely and doesn't give me too much pigment but yet it gives me enough pigment to have just a nice illuminated glow on the face. Now if you're wanting it to be much more pigmented definitely use a more dense brush whether it's some kind of kabuki brush or an angled brush like Sephora has one of those thick fan brushes that works really well. That's what I like to use with the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion bronzer and so that's the same. If you want it more saturated use a much more dense brush. I'm just not crazy about the shade with the warm tone so I like to use a little bit more of a fluffy brush to create a diffused look. So I do think it's great. Unfortunately, this is not a shade that's going to work for everyone. This is going to work for fair and light skin tones, and it's not going to work for medium and deep skin tones. And I'll get to that in a second. I have like a little tiny rant about that, that it's just driving me crazy. But I will talk about that in a second. So I do think this is nice. It's opaque. You can make it work, but it is warm. So you have to decide if you want a warm tone or not. As far as the blush goes in the middle. Honestly, you have to continue to build and build and build and build. And I have light skin and I feel like I have to build and build and build and build to make it look like a blush. I think this honestly best performs as a blush topper. That's what you'll see in the demo is I like to just kind of put it on top of any blush to give a little bit of a luminous glow, but not use it just as a blush. It just gives a tiny flush of color once you've built it up on the skin. So because of that, again, fair and light skin tones, I think it's going to work. Medium, deep, I don't think it's going to show up. It's possible you could use it as a highlighter instead if you have medium and deeper skin tones, but definitely not as a blush. Even for me with a light skin tone, I'm struggling to make it work as a blush, and it just takes a lot of time to get that color built up. So I like to use it more as a blush topper or as a highlight. Now as far as the highlight goes, this is more of a peachy champagne color. At first when you look at it, it looks very champagne, but when you apply it to the skin, which I have it right here, it definitely has more of a peachy undertone to it. I do think most people are going to be able to use this. It's really pretty. It's really silky. I will say it's a little bit more of a subtle glow. It's not like, even though the formula is the same, it's not going to be the same crazy outrageous um, pigmentation and highlight as the Dior Illuminator. Even though they kind of have the same silky smooth formula, they're not going to perform the same. I do think this is more subtle. I think, again, if you want to make it more intense, use a more dense brush like I did in the demo. This is a Target Up and Up brush. If you want it to be more diffused, use a fluffy brush like my Morphe 501. I do think it works with all different brushes, whether they're fluffy or dense, but I think this entire palette in general does perform better if you use more dense brushes. So that's what I did today because I like to have a little bit more of a noticeable highlight. I do think it's a really, really pretty highlight. Like easily the illuminator in this palette is what makes it gorgeous and amazing and why I love it. Um, so overall for me, it's a love it. Unfortunately, I don't think everyone's going to be able to use this palette. And that's driving me crazy. I feel like I've been saying that a ton and a ton in different reviews lately, whether it was this one, the Physicians Formula products, whether it was the new Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette. I feel like companies are coming out with palettes, and I know why they do it from a money standpoint, but it drives me crazy as a consumer and for like having to tell you guys this. 
It drives me crazy because I know they come out with one palette. Majority of the time, honestly, palettes come out on their four light and medium skin tones. In this case, fair and light, but majority of the time, light and medium. And so because of that, they say, okay, let's see how well the palettes sell. If they do really well, then we'll come out with another palette in different shades. That way everyone in the market can use it. And I think that sucks. Like, why are you testing it only on a certain demographic? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. You know, if you want the best opportunity, make a quality product, come out with multiple shades all at once, and then I think you're going to get a better sales. Unfortunately, they come out with this. They're like, well, let's see if it does well. If it does, maybe we'll be like Tarte, where they came out with three different um, contour palettes at this point. Now, granted, that didn't happen all at once. That took a couple years for them to come out with three different contour palettes to suit every skin tone, but at least they eventually did. And maybe Too Faced is going to do that, but it drives me crazy that they tend to come out with palettes that are only going to suit a little bit of people, not everyone. And I'm not saying that there's going to ever be a palette that's going to suit fair and deep skin tones. That's never really going to happen. But when they come out with a palette like this, I would have appreciated as a consumer and on behalf of you guys, seeing them come out with this one for fair and light and then see them coming out with another one for medium and deep skin tones at the same exact time. That way, everyone could get a chance to try the product and enjoy it. Fortunately, I think if you have medium and deep skin tones, you're not going to be able to use these two as they're intended. You can use this one, but who wants to buy a $42 palette for 0.1 ounces just for an illuminator? I think most people don't want to. So, unfortunately, I feel like I'm having to keep saying and these reviews lately like this is only gonna work for certain skin tones and that just that drives me nuts I really wish companies would come out with two palettes at once for different skin tones versus waiting to see how the palette does and then maybe creating it down the line so that's my little rant just because it drives me nuts when they do it and I know Tarte just came out with a brand new contour palette for those deeper skin tones and I was like yay Tarte but again it was you know a year later after they you know saw how the rest of the palette did so I don't know. It just drives me nuts. So unfortunately, I do think this is catered to fair and light skin tones. I think medium, you might be able to get away with some of it with these two. I don't think this bronzer shade is really going to show up if you have medium skin tones. And then if you have deeper skin tones, I think this illuminator is going to be great. Maybe you can get away with this one as a highlighter as well, and then you're going to get no use out of this one. So overall, as far as the quality goes, I do think it's a love it. I don't think it accentuates my pores or anything on the skin. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It gives a really pretty flush of color. I just think this is a a little bit more of a subtle palette and a subtle glow and it's going to work for those lighter skin tones. So let's go ahead and move on to the last item which is the individual blush and this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Papa Don't Peach Blush. This retails for $30 and the packaging is really cute. Again a 10 and then you open it up and here is what the blush looks like. It's really really pretty. So it says it's a brightening blush that is infused with the peach fragrance. Again I do think this one's a little bit stronger than the Illuminator palette. All of them have a very artificial peach scent to them. To me, they smell like sweet tarts, which I don't mind. I like sweet tarts, but uh, the scent does, again, stay on your face, and you can kind of, like, get a whiff of it throughout the day. So it says, the Sweet Peach Papa Don't Peach Blush Sweet Peachy Bronze Hue imparts fresh, youthful-looking radiance to the cheeks for a touch of summertime warmth. Infused with the essence of peach, this blush smells like peaches, and its rich, pigmented shade provides buildable payoff. Wearable and flattering on any skin tone, it leaves a gilded pink pearl brightening finish. And this is what it looks like. I do think it's pretty. I do think this is going to suit a lot of skin tones. Honestly, if you're looking for a blush, I would go with this individual blush over the blush that's in here. I think this one performs better. I think it performs more like a true blush that we're used to. And it's not just kind of a baked gelée overlay type of formula. This is a powdery formula. It's pigmented. It's really, really pretty. I think this is going to suit a lot of skin tones. I think Fair is going to be able to use it up to medium. I think Deep's even going to be able to build it up and use it. It's a really nice color. It has a nice payoff. It's saturated. It does have like little tiny glitter in there. It's very, very finely milled glitter. It's nothing I can pick up and trace on the face. It just gives a really luminous look. I think it's really, really pretty. It does have a very, very stiff formula. So because of that, when I go in with a brush like this, this is my Real Techniques multitask face brush. It does have quite a bit of kick up in the pan just because it's so firmly pressed that I feel like I have to kind of like dig in there to get it. It does build up really nicely on the skin as well as it does blend out really easily. So I'm really impressed by this as well. I like this one. This is definitely a love it. I like it. Just know the formula is hard pressed into the pan, but not so much that you can't pick it up. It just, you have to use 
a little bit more force to pick it up and then it is a little bit powdery but it applies really nicely to the skin so I really really love this so overall to recap I do think the formula on all of these is a love it I'm really 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 impressed with this lip gloss like it's so comfortable I'm definitely gonna have to try out some of the other colors now that I know it's really pigmented and really comfortable this is the total love it these are really really love it as well unfortunately this is a palette that you're just gonna have to decide if it's going to suit your needs and your skin tone and if you're gonna get your money's worth for $42 and I forgot to mention really quickly on this the size of this is 0.32 ounces but this is also a love it I think this is probably your best bang for your buck of what is going to suit the most people this is a really nice formula but overall this entire collection is a love it it smells good it feels good it applies well it's just gonna again depend if it's going to suit your skin tone so I hope you guys enjoyed the review the demo and the swatches if you did give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button that way you stay up to date on all my upcoming videos and I will see you guys very soon bye